Okay, this is the third round of the AC tournament. Today we've got K and D kill and destroy against Stroybot. Both teams I think are from Russia. And um, we have Stroybot playing West and K and D is East. We have a, a nice good tactic here from Stroy, but they go up, up north if they spawn. KD goes uh, a 3 jeep strategy and the spawn is not far behind. I, th I think they really try to, to take out their, uh, the western spawn on the way to the fortress. Yeah, the, f the spawn is being protected by rain and um, it's even a, a two-player Humvee, so it's actually a 4-on-4 as far as I can see. Or maybe a 5-on-4, yeah. Oh. The M1 is it's, it's a 5-on-5 actually, so the M1 is being brought up by Strollbot already. Fisher under fire already. Rain takes out Red Hammer, Stormtrooper down, nice stuff here from Rain. SPG-9, Jeep on the way, also on the fire. Riddick now has some problems. He's under fire from the M1. Keeper and the rest of his team are, are to the northeast of, of the fortress. They haven't managed to get inside. Playing a nice defensive game, he's trying to score the score the points for killing the UAZ. Two Western players inside the zone. Keeper took him out. He's already inside, but oh, nice grenade here from Rain. Double kill also from Rain over there. Takes out two. Red Hammer takes down Rain finally. This zone is unoccupied. Really has to be careful here because. Uh, with, with this jeep he one hit and he's down and I think he's already been spotted uh, he's managed to get the M1 out of, out of the position nice shots there from from the east of forces really really managed to chase him away. Rain takes care of him. He now has a chance to take out the team. That's a good tactic. Stormtrooper looking. See what's happening here. He needs to make sure that the that the Jeep stays alive maybe. So it can be used later. Oh yeah, that's rain again. Takes out a second. Keeper and the rest of the team is from KND is set back. Back to the spawn now. Sanjok finally responds here for KND. They 
They've been pushed back. They don't have the tank up right now. Now, now they're in trouble. The M1 is coming up very aggressively. And there you can actually see... Yeah, you can take him out. Oh, is, did, didn't you just see the other one? The other one is just basically in open space. Mario taking care of business here. This is really an aggressive game by Stroybot. Mario takes out another one. Desperate attempts here from Keeper to steer up the zone, to have a lucky shot maybe. Interrupt the counter, Mario finally notices him. Very nice stuff here from Stroybot so far. They've managed to clear out KD totally. One lonesome machine gunner flanking up north. Their spawn hasn't been compromised yet, but KD's uh, kind of in trouble. I think they are bringing up the T90 now. Right there it is. Maybe. Two men operated. Rain still holding the position here at the edge of the of the corner. Now Mary withdrawing a little, sc scouting around. If they're not careful, then they will they will lose their spawn because Red Hammer he knows something is up over there. Nice shot. Stroybot really doing a nice job at the moment, they have everything under control here. The M1 is, is locking down the whole building here, the whole zone is basically at their mercy. But there's a big challenge ahead now, Riddick is coming inside this tank, T9 here advancing, very aggressive, you can already see the antennas of the M1. I think the M1 also here, Mario knows what's going to happen. Rocket hitting the ground here. Riddick switching around from driver to gunner seat. And keeps the tank rolling and now here's a nice shot. Nice shot from Riddick, takes out the M1. Now this this is changing the dynamics. And now taking care of the of the tower, you can actually destroy the tower here on this map. Red Hammer takes out two. Near near the Stroybot spawn. Stroybot now Venturing outside the zone, I don't know if that's a good idea, but Rain managed to take, take out one. Getting some space here. Does he have the RPG? Actually he does. You need the RPG here, you can only get it from the ammo box where... where Stroybot has their spawn or inside the fortress and if they don't stock up with the RPG and do some damage to the T90 then it's gonna be a, a hard battle to fight here against the tank that's dominating the whole zone. Nice grenades here from Rain and Sanjok finally took out the machine gunner. Very good anticipatory here game throwing those grenades. The T90 is coming. 
It finally hit. Tinali took a hit, but still in action. He could still move the tower. And now he's really laying down the law here. Very surprising that Sandrock managed to get inside. The zone is now being held, held by both sides. It's a two on one. Fisher running around with his RPG. Uh, this is a little, little two storm. This is a little too uh, risky, this tactic is just running outside. But here we go now. He's looking somewhere else, but the tank is, is actually behind, behind the fortress still. Tank has taken some damage. Riddick now took out Sandrog inside this bunker. And this looked like. Oh, very lucky here. Fisher could have taken out the T90. And now even Mario got taken out with his Toe Humvee. That's not a good sign here. T90 now advancing very aggressively, they, they can nearly see the spawn, I think. Riddick gets two with one shot. Stroybot running for cover now. They know they're in trouble. I think their spawn is down also. They only need one hit here with the RPG and then the T90 is out of action, but just to get that one shot is really difficult now. Riddick doesn't give him a chance, rain down now, Stroybot is rooted out from this map. Riddick now in a very aggressive position. Just waiting for the first Stroybot vehicle to come along. Sandjok is gonna know what's going on here, just around the corner. They do not have an RPG with them. None of them do from the base. They have to get the RPGs at the at the green crosses there inside the zone. So that those two places are the only ones where they, where they can restock on on RPG ammo. And uh, Stroybot holding none of those two and having lost their spawn is and and their tanks and their tow humvees uh, is really difficult. Maybe they can shoot some grenades at the turret or something in desperation or that, that, that would maybe uh, further weaken it. But you would need uh, a few more than just uh, a grenade, maybe five grenades or something. It doesn't seem to be the tactic. No, Strawberry is advancing from the south. They've avoided the street nearly completely. Rain is coming up from the north. Sandrog is already at at the at the main street. Fisher also advancing from the south, coming up from behind. Maybe he will get the spawn there. They've driven their spawn up around the back also. One shot here from Riddick, one shot, one kill on Sandrock, he was he was near the street.
Iowa brings up the spawn even further. Aggressive play here. Rain is stuck in a tree or something. Looking on the map. He's kind of close to the T90. I don't know if he will get past the T90 without being seen. Sanger going in for another try. Three Stroybot players are now circling from the southeast, really a big circle. Very far away from the fortress. KNDS has lots of time to check on everything, get into position. I think KND is just playing a one man tactic here inside the zone. And now they're getting back, the tank is being repositioned to the zone. They've got a two player tactic on the small farm. T90 going back. But this is also the wrong side because Strawbot is very close now. Two players near the big zone here. Fisher looking for the spawn. Riddick is just buzzing around uh, around the zone, making sure that there's no one here able to challenge their their their, their fortress or they're going near the ammo boxes or something. He's right next to the oh, that's a friendly kill from Sanjuki. That's not a good. That's not really good because now they have uh, they have hurt him. They've lost one player. Friendly fire kill, it's not uh, what you need in this situation. You have to be. When this is a surprising deck, and now you've given it away, but Sandrick managed to kill one. Only the tank is now inside. And nice position here for the tank. But really can't use the main gun. This doesn't work. In close quarters combat, he's inside the commander's seat. He's being circled here by Sandrick, he's right around there. He's basically holding it so nothing can happen. Already under fire, he's basically by himself. I don't know what uh, the rest are doing. Rain is finally coming up. Red Hammer takes out Fisher now. He was the machine gunner. That was, that was kind of a good idea for him to be back there. And, but now he can't cause any more trouble for Candy. That's not good for them. Keeper has, has been assigned here to look, take a look. Exchange of fire, nice stuff. Mario now coming back. They are all spawning at the the southeastern city here where they where they placed their, their spawn truck very interesting line of defense here oh Riddick misses him still. Very lucky here. A 
But Stormtrooper sees him already, Mario's down now. But maybe... Maybe Rain will have a chance to get close. To an RPG ammo box or something. With all this distraction, he may have a chance. Nice shot there, red hammer down. And now, Stormtrooper sees him though. Stroybot really needs to take out that tank now, they have no other option because this tank is really a problem. This actually just being a phone 4, they have to have all men running inside the zone, just distracting them and then taking care of this of the tank. Riddick is just keeping them all in check here, just patrolling around this whole area. And of course buying K and D more time, even though the zone is contested now. Now finally, Sanja got his hands on an RPG, but if he's not careful then he's, go he's gonna be spotted already by Keeper. Keeper's sort of looking into the, into the wrong direction though. And they miss each other. Really unlucky here for Keeper, he didn't see him. Now he's moved out and if he's if he's not careful, he may be shot in the back. But Keeper doesn't see him. Sandrog now has a chance to turn the tables. He's just s sort of shadowing the T90. Getting closer, but still not there. The T90 is actually moving away from the zone. Yeah, Riddick is it deep inside the forest. Actually, he can't do any damage from there, so now, now they should take the chance. Stroybot should take the chance and just advance, put some pressure on the T90s way, way off the map, nowhere near the spawn. He can't do anything from there even if he wanted to. Sandrock is good to hold up his position, but the others need to move. Rain under fire from the sm small farm, rolling away. Stormtrooper actually managed to hit him a few times, but he doesn't see him anymore. And Rain is just rolling for his life. I will just advance from the other side, you don't need to do that. Mario's down now, Keeper took him out. Solid play here from Keeper. T9 is way, way off in the woods. Riddick has basically taken himself out of this whole game with this little like, excursion. And Stroybot can still capitalize on this because if they take out which swamp player, they, they've, they've got the zone back. They know where the others are, they are in the small farm, two of them. They have noticed that this strategy that they were trying to, to play on Stroybot doesn't work at all. Stroybot is nowhere near that. They can now change it with a two-on-one. 
play here inside the zone. If, if he's not careful, then Fisher will get taken out. He just got killed. Keep a nice defensive game. Mario needs to press on. He's, he's, he's hurt, but he needs to go. And Riddick, I think he has finally noticed that this is not, not going to work. What he's trying to do, nothing is here. Sanjog is very patiently holding on, and now Mario, Mario got killed. No. Yeah, Mario got killed, but Ren is still there. And keeper takes out the third one. Nice defensive play. Candy rock solid. Inside the zone. See if something changes here. Sandrick is assigned to take out the T90, I think. Well, you've been waiting for so long, so either you run in there and chase him, or you, or you just waste your time because he's not coming anywhere near here. Riddick now basically way, way off the, the, the zone, way off where they. Where Stroyber there's a spawn totally to the north. The T90 has basically done nothing here to defend, so why why couldn't Stroyber just toss some grenades and storm in from both sides? Maybe use some of their, their jeeps, they still have two Humvees left. Now interesting stuff here. Sanjok, one RPG to the. Oh yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice hit. But Riddick descended and took him out. Disembark from the T90. T90 is down though. Riddick is now taking care of business with the sniper rifle. Three, three strawbot down. I think the Humvee got taken out also from them. Now Stroybot really needs to push on and put the pressure on here. KND has the spawn in an aggressive position in inside the farm, protected from all sides. Nice grenades there from Riddick. Rain didn't stand a chance. No. Stroybot is forced to go back up the hills. Three player formation. KND holds the zone with a uh, two player zone, two player farm strategy. And that's the end of the match. Let's see what happened here. Okay, that's 189 points and one and 86 points to K and D. They have a 100 point advantage. That's not very much, actually, uh, if you consider uh, what what advantages they had now with the T90. They had the zone for quite a while, but they lost the T90 also again. But they had much much more. Much more those things that they that they can do. I think um, as things try, but is still very much in the game. They can still come back. They now they they will play east, and um, if they have a good tactic, aggressive stuff here, then they can come back and take this game very easily. And let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. This is Ms. Refuge from Get Skills commenting. This is the second round of uh, the. Winner bracket KND against Stroybot. The first round was won by K 
pay the cost of the other points. Now switching sides, Stroibert is east and Kane is west. Oh, that's a very interesting tactic from Stroibert. They've got three players inside the Jeep, an SPG9 Jeep and the spawn behind them. And uh, it's a 4 4. KD with a two Jeep tactic. Spawn is actually way ahead. Spawn is actually really quick. This is going to be an interesting sight to see here. Let's try about not going for the open confrontation, but KD bringing the spawn to safety. Humvee positioned defensively, one Humvee ad advancing, Red Hammer going for the zone, Strobot not anywhere near the zone actually. Positioning the spawn now actually also just uh, east of the fortress. Strobot now slowly advancing with three men. Three on one situation, but no. Keeper is also coming coming back to back up Red Hammer. Red Hammer is now taking some some fire also, but just spotting here the enemy. They they know just about where they are. Nice shot there from Dan. Got taken out by Keeper. Heavy fighting in the zone here. Sanjok is near the edge of the zone, being claimed by K and D now. The first game was really also uh, very exciting. They had a, a nice strategy. K, K and D got some advantages, took out the Stroibot tank, but they were able to come back, take out the T90, and at 100 points difference is not that much if you consider that you only have one zone here and the the only basic source of points that you have is holding the zones for more than one minute at least apart from taking out the other infantry and the other players also but the zone is really important to hold the zone and we have this chase here stormtrooper is chasing down the uh, the SPG-9 Jeep. Mario... I don't know if Mario knows that, that he's Stormtrooper's behind him, but actually Stormtrooper has turned around now. Stormtrooper's looking for for the spawn. Then takes out Keeper. Nice play. Red Hammer up at the, the elevated observation post there. Sandrick is just below him and now Stormtrooper is under fire I think yeah, the M1 is in place yes Riddick putting down some fire here at the base Sandrick takes a red hammer this is gonna be really interesting Mario is advancing towards the M1 The M1 is really busy, really, really laying down some firepower near their zone here. They, they've, they've got some trouble. Three strybots against one KND player. Stormtrooper is now in trouble. Honza takes him out. Nice shot there. This is a really, a uh, really good play here from Strybot. They've got a good tactic. Red Hammer going back. And now Mario's just about to see the M1 here. It's very, very good, good flanking move. But Riddick may be here on, on, on the chase. He may he may know where where somebody's flanking. Both teams just Standing there looking out, but... 
Monza takes out another one. Heavy fighting in the base. M1 is occupied now. Red Hammer responding for KD. KD's pushed back outside the zone. Sandjerk now, nice shot. Hansa is about to take out Red Hammer there. M1 is now really occupied with uh, with with watching the SPG9 Jeep, I think. Riddick is occupied in as commander. He's he's watching over the base. That spawn is also exposed. I think Hansa could also take out the spawn if he wanted to there. Yeah, if if actually Mario, if if Mario looked a little bit to the left, he could see the farm and he could take out the the spawn that it's parked near the entrance. Riddick now laying down here the action. Now he's wondering what's happening. Maybe maybe to the left there's something. Oh yeah, now now Riddick has noticed that he's in trouble. Riddick takes him out. Nice work there from Riddick. This is an, a tactical advantage now for KMD. Then nice sniper shot. Being flanked by Stormtrooper. Red Hammer. Is defending the, the their spawn. RPG here from from Stormtrooper against Den. Very tense battle here. Very exciting to watch this. Scores are nearly even. Stroybot has 34 points, KD only has 20. Sandjok just took some took some shots but missed. And he gets a grenade, but also he's he's not down. Keep a second try. Sandjok is down now. Riddick took him out. No, actually Stormtrooper took him out. KD takes back the zone. This sounds like a T90, yes. Mario comes back with a T90. I think this is now a three on one tactic inside the zone. The fortress is being held by KD with, with three players. We just have Dan here flanking. There's going to be a confrontation around the corner. <coughs> Keeper takes care of business. Hansa takes out Red Hammer here with the grenade. Hansa is being flanked from the left. Not a good view here from him. DT90 is close. He's advancing from the north. The M1 is actually not, not really useful at the moment. KND has the M1 in place. But not much use for it, so not not doing much. M1 
actually Strybot cleared out all three players here. Candy totally exposed. They have to run across open fields. But Red Hammer has got the R RPG downed. The RPG aimed towards the T90. Maybe he will get a good shot. T90 now in place. Stormtrooper camping in at the destroyed helicopter, just looking to take out some Strobot campers there. And Stormtrooper is down. Now Red Hammer goes after the T90, maybe he will get him. Mario's making some some strange maneuvers here with the T90. M1 takes him under fire. Red Hammer takes him out. Nice stuff here from Red Hammer. Now KND has, has got a real, real big chance to seal this game. They've got the M1 in action, now they can bring it aggressively the way they want to. And Strybot is now looking to take out the KND spawn. Maybe, maybe if, you, if they're smart they will get an RPG and try to get close. Keeper takes out two inside the zone. I think um, Strybot also lost their spawn somehow. Nice shots there from Keeper, three kills for him. Holds the zone, solid. Mario brings back the spawn. Two players just waiting to, s to, to wait for the, for the spawn to be positioned. Oh, defensive tactic here from Strybot. They they have the zone in front of the, the small village there. Now Candy is going to a more active position with that tank. The tank can now easily chase down anyone. Who's, who's advancing towards the fortress? Strybot needs to be careful now. The M1 has probably also already picked up the the, the spawn truck. That doesn't look good for Strybot here. Nice chase. Riddick takes out the spawn truck. Then on the fire goes down. Also nice defensive from Stormtrooper. Sandra flanking. That's a good tactic here from Sanjok. He needs to go and pick up an RPG and the main the main base 
is too secure, the fortress is just too secure, so Red Hammer is only holding this the small farm there where they got their spawn. That's really important to to flank from there and take out this one player, take out the spawn, get the RPG. That's the key to win. If they don't do that, then they have no chance. And he sees him easy shots there. Sandrock takes him out. Spawn has been repositioned. At least pick up the RPG. And Riddick knows knows what's up. Riddick took care of business here. Just one sabot. Or actually a heat inside the, the small farm. Oh that, that was actually really aggressive just to run in here with the tank. Somebody could have also picked up the RPG and shot him, but he's lucky there. Now Stroybot has to go and flank again. They have no other choice. Maybe distract him inside the zone, rock inside, reset the timer. Keeper and Stormtrooper holding the holding the fort here very solidly. Keeper is spotted. The UAZ. But he's gonna be in for a bad surprise here. M1 is already picking up the chase. He's right next to him now, stuck in some trees, but... Nice stuff here from Riddick. Takes out the UAZ now, also some points for them. Strobot in trouble here, but... Good flanking move here from Honza, he, he needs to do exactly that. So far, a uh, really solid game from KD. They were pushed back at the beginning, uh, but were able to battle some 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 key decisions out of this whole tactic here, which they had. They t they've taken out the T90. They they took out the SPG9 Jeep. They denied them the spawn. They 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 raped the spawn also really quick. All the hopes of Stroybot need to be on getting the hands on an RPG now and taking taking out that M1. While well, they have to just distract them at the at the main base, run inside, back and forth maybe, and just keep them from scoring. That's really important. The M1 is just going where it wants to. As long as there's nothing to threaten him, then he can just do that. Let's see what Honza can do here. He needs to change it now. He needs he needs to go and kill this one player. He's inside there, but do something. Get the RPG. Find the M1. Again, an easy shot here. He misses that shot. That's not good. But well, hammer has been hurt now. Now he even gets uh, a, a grenade. He can't walk anymore, and this should be easy to just press on now. But this takes too much time, I think. Now the M1 will also come back. You just need to get to it now. Hansa is playing it safe. The M1 doesn't, Riddick really doesn't seem to to know that this is going on because he's chasing after some sniper here. No, he's, he's looking after the spawn. The spawn is about to be taken out. E 
easy play here for, for Riddick. Red Hammer took out Honza actually. Honza now can just heal up very easily. They've lost those two, two key, key battles. This is not, not really good. Not good at all. They really, they really had a good chance to get an RPG. Maybe also no chance for Mario. Keeper just took him out. Riddick is just waiting here at the spawn, and this is the last thing that Destroybot needs now because just keeping the spawn there out of action and having p having others spawn there I without an RPG is just what you want. And this is also a good tactic, you just bomb him with grenades, but uh, this is going to take a long, long time to take him out. I don't know if they have placed something there under the tank. Doesn't seem like that. takes out Mario but there's some action already inside the fortress here stormtrooper is now getting some visitors just looking down the stairs there Nice shot there from Stormtrooper. Really, really putting some pressure on. And collecting the grenades for that, but... Honza <laughs> is now restocking on grenades. This is an exciting battle there at the, <laughs> at the spawn truck here. Sandrock just looking out. For the for the top camper there on the tower. Nice shot there probably from Sandok from down there way below. Single shot kill. Double team defense inside the fortress. Riddick takes out Honza. The M1 now a little bit damaged, but Riddick decides to kill the spawn finally. Sandrock now facing a two on one. One on one. Nice play here from Sandrock, but he was not careful. It was too quick. Red Hammer knew where he was. But it's only one 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 K and D player now defending the, the whole fortress. The M1 is somewhere in the forest, waste of time. Then it's the first one advancing. Stormtrooper is about to meet him somewhere on the road there.
Actually, nice stuff that then got this far. But what is going to happen now? He needs to snipe some some players out of the zone. KD still playing a very solid game. They f basically held the whole zone uninterrupted for a couple of few a few times. They had. Uh, some some people coming in, but this only reset the timer. Not really a major a major uh, challenge since Stroybot lost this their T90. Hansa now maybe he will he will take out keeper who has just arrived there. That would be a good move. And he's just to his left, he will they will just meet a few seconds now. And now they run right past each other. Oh, keeper notices that. Red Hammer still inside the zone. Three man defense. M1 looking down the farm. Sandrak now the only player advancing. Stryber is not bothering to move up the spawn anymore. Two players waiting at the flag. Monza advancing with the UAZ. So I think uh, Stryber has some real problems. They did not manage to take out the M1. The M1 is just too dominating on this map to be left by itself. You need to take it out or damage it severely to make a difference. Because the M1 can just roll up just like now and go where the action is without any fear of being taken out or being damaged. Strobot really just needed to take out this M1 and dedicate the others to run inside the zone and s stop them from scoring by, by some time. Also now fired this Dushka there from his UAZ but no luck. M1 just ran right past the Sandrick there but Monza is getting some visitors. M1 racing down the street, destroying the motorcycle. That's also one point for KND. Honza takes uh, takes Riddick under fire now with the grenade launcher. Riddick responds with this machine gun, takes out Honza. Sandrock now needs to go to work. They've only got two players doing something, I think. Actually, now Dan. Dan and someone else advancing on the motor motorbike here, but doesn't look re very hopeful. Already sub celebratory gunfire from Red Hammer there. That was a nice game, but. KND clearly sweeps Stroybot off this map. They now even have 150 points more than before. It was a good game. A uh, very exciting game at the beginning of, on both rounds, but at the end, then KND always managed to take out uh, the op opponent spawn, uh, took out more vehicles. Um, I think they even had, yeah, they had more kills. Stroybot died. Um, more times, uh, they also had some some coordination mistakes there. A friendly fire. I think they they wasted a little bit too much time with dealing with the M1. It's KND really solid solid play here. Now they advance to the next round, where they will either face KND two, KND two, or uh, the other team. Uh, I don't know which 
which ones they were, but um, at least a good victory for KD. Still a good game. Nicely played. 